quite the festive atmosphere here in Ankara Skulu Park. Protesters taking to the streets. As you can see, it's quite a diverse crowd. We have men, we have women, we have children, families all here waving flags and chanting for the government to resign. Now, the prime minister did come out and say that he was going to hold a referendum in Istanbul on Gezi Park and say that that should pacify protesters, that their demands have been heard. But talking to protesters in the street, they say this is a lot bigger than a park. Gezi Park is a symbol. It's the spark, uh, you know, that set the tinder on fire because, uh, you know, the prime minister needs to listen to citizens. Everyone should have a right to think whatever we want to think about and, you know, live as we want to do. And the government has no right to interfere with that. Despite this festive atmosphere, make no illusion, the protesters here say they're ready to stand their ground if the police were to come in here and try to clear them out. They say it's not going to take a force, but actually political action, which will send them home. The jovial carnival atmosphere quickly turned to this shortly after midnight when police engaged the protesters. Right now we're seeing dozens of protesters and police square off right here. This is a di different part of the city than where we were earlier. What media reports are that there are roughly 500 protesters engaged with the police in different districts in the city. From what we've seen tonight, it's obvious that the protesters aren't ready to give up quite yet. Ian Lee, CNN, Ankara, Turkey.